If I were to ask you what was the most creepiest shipwreck ever found, what would you say? The World Trade Center ship that was found under the World Trade Center? The SS Edmund Fitzgerald that sank mysteriously in Lake Superior and found broken in two halves? Well, what if I were to tell you that all you've said was wrong? The creepiest shipwreck to ever be found is the SS Kamloops. Why you may ask? For obvious reasons, there's a literal dead corpse on the wreck itself, unlike Titanic and Edmund Fitzgerald and of course the World Trade Center ship, there aren't any corpses on the wreck themselves at all. They call this corpse that is on the SS Kamloops, Old Whitey. It is said that divers who visit the wreck site say he has a tendency to float up behind divers and scare them. Other times he appears curious and even follows divers around as they search the ship. It is believed this spirit is connected to his incredibly well-preserved corpse, which awaits visitors in the engine. He is typically known as Old Whitey, but you may hear some call him Grandpa or other names. Though I do like to think that he is just interested in the company after so many decades being alone in the bottom of Lake Superior, it is still undoubtedly creepy, especially when exploring the wreck. Anyways, enough about Old Whitey and more about the ship itself. Kamloops was a lake freighter that was built for Canada Steamship Lines. Kamloops completed its sea trials or sea testing on the 5th of July 1924 before being shipped to Copenhagen, Denmark to pick up freight and then was taken to Montreal in Houghton, Michigan, United States the Y as a canal. As it gets later and later into the shipping season in the Great Lakes, it is a custom of Great Lakes shipping to try to move as much freight as possible before winter, and associated ice conditions bring boat movements to a halt. Kamloops owners operated the ship as late into the season as possible. In 1924, it was one of the last vessels to pass through the Salt St. Marie Canal or canal and in 1926 it ended the season stuck in ice in St. Mary's River. Now if you ask me that is more things that I can do within two years because all I can do is you know make YouTube videos. On late November 1927 she was ordered to carry a mixed cargo of tar paper, paper making machinery, coiled wire for farm fencing, piping, shoes and foodstuffs. On December 1st, the steamer was called at Courtright, Ontario to top off its cargo with some bagged salt. She then steamed up Lake Huron, passed through the Salt St. Marie Canal on December 4th, and faced the challenge of Lake Superior. A massive storm began hammering the lake on the 5th of December and Kamloops was last seen steaming towards the eastern shore of Isle Royal at dusk. For 50 years, Kamloops was one of the ghost ships of the Great Lakes, having sunk without a trace. But on the 21st of August 1977, her wreck was discovered northwest of Isle Royal, near what is now known as Kamloops Point by a group of sport divers carrying out a systematic search for the ship. So I hope you enjoyed this Kamloops video. Um, within a few weeks or so, I'm going to my first convention, probably like a you know downtown convention. I might also go to a quote unquote FE, more, you know, more in the description about FE and yeah that's all anyways so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one